So this is a Rainbow SE vacuum. And I find this a pretty interesting turbine design for this. I'm taking this part just to clean the whole turbine and replace all the bearings in them. This is the rotor right here. And these are both brand new bearings. Those are the old bearings right there. Well, two of them. And the other one. This one and the other side of the turbine casing is rusted through so much that it's completely seized. Um, but anyway, the interesting, interesting thing I find about this is this. So this is your outlet port. There's four here, and it's directing all the airflow with these four vanes here. And you've got an impeller here, and it's got curved vanes on it. And we'll and this just uh, locks in here, real uh, easy like. So you have these sets of impellers, or at least that's what I think the name of them are, that are stationary with the whole turbine housing. And then you've got these propellers, or the main fans, that come on here, and they're supposed to spin with the motor shaft. Uh, I am wondering about this though, because you can see it's currently free spinning with the motor shaft, and there's two little notches here. The camera will focus. And I'm thinking this used to be like a spring lock kind of thing, and they'd slide down like one direction and wouldn't be able to easily pull them back off the shaft, and that'd be like kind of like a friction lock to the, the motor shaft, you know? But I don't know. So we cut, keep going this direction. We've got a spacer here. That's kind of directional. It's got a bit larger side on one side. It goes towards the start of the turbine or whatever. Then you've got another impeller. And this one's actually got like evidence of being glued to this station, to this uh, housing right here. And it might have been, I'm not sure. Or it might have just been the two halves of this uh, casing having, keeping it together. And so now you've got that uh, propeller in there sandwiched between these two. And then another fan on top of this. And this one also just three spins. And then finally, one last spacing. And the top half of the housing, which has, if I can get my camera to stay focused, I can then describe how the airflow flows through here which from here we've actually got a couple pieces on top of this and this is called a water separator or something oops i just threw the nut and this thing would spin and any water that gets sucked up in here would get flipped off from centripetal force and hopefully only air would get sucked in through this so it goes through there, and it goes through this fan, which is spinning with the shaft, and gets redirected, like, in and down that way. 
goes through these ports, does a U-turn, and comes back in towards the center and comes upward, or downward. Goes in through the center here, centripetal force is forcing the air towards the outside. And into the outside of the impeller, which, with it being stationary, puts the air back towards the center and towards the center of this propeller, which is spinning. And you can see there's a bit of a concave shape on the spacer that helps redirect the airflow at a high, higher velocity. And this one's spinning with some triple force, forces air back towards the outside into this one, which is stationary, and the air goes back towards the center here. And if you can remember what it looks like on the inside there, then it comes from the in center and back towards the outside through these four outlet ports. Um, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. That's a very similar setup to a car's torque converter, in my opinion, because you've got a floating, well, a whole bunch of, I, I can go into more explanation on that on a different video, but this is all pretty cool. I forgot to put in this spacer right here, like, make sure it's the right side, right side. And that spacer needs to be able to there, be there, so there's a, because it's not needs to block off the air in the center of this plate of this impeller and another propeller and another spacer and finally the cap and there we go and that is the whole turbine assembly for the rainbow se and i still need to pull out this bearing right here. But anyway, that's it. And thanks for watching.